Aries, welcome to your Astro Flower reading. This is going to be an Astro Flower reading going from the 5th to the 11th of no, of December. Uh, how's it going? Did you see those collective readings? They will be linked at the end of this for the uh, collective and all signs readings for December. Let's just see what's going on in your overall energy for this week. A lot of, lot of passion with you at the moment. Um, you, you, you're in. You're fully into your summer. You're coming. To, you're almost coming to the end of your summer. So there's a lot of things that are coming to the surface. A lot of, uh, you know, uh, projects, part of your businesses that, uh, you know, there's some real project goals going happening here. Um, fruits are really coming through in your life. Uh, should be. Uh, if it's not, this is the time to push for you. If you want a new job, or if you're looking for a new relationship and etc. This is the time for you to push. This is a real golden month for you in a way uh, coming up for you. Uh, and here is that passion. is It's coming from within you. It's it's passion that's, yeah, that's a high priestess. So it's that intuition. It's it's being able to sort of free flow between one thing and another, making decisions quite quickly, uh, moving through uh, through the energy and through through situations, making connections with people um and businesses as well you know i think that's i think it's really important as well the business side for you this week let's just see what's going on on the relationship side getting out there socializing being part of it you got to be in it to win it i guess you know and that's what seems to be coming in there's a real is it real realization it's you're almost going to perceive and you might have even said this last week as well you're going to perceive this as a new you coming out uh in regards to your relationships you're going to be putting them into practice as well this week the new cycle needs to be done uh let's just see how the universe is um they're contributing a lot through um, physical things so making creating opportunities through activities through hobbies uh, to connect with the people in regards to relationships that are around you. This new cycle has started and you've just got to get on and do it by the looks of things. Um, yeah, it's, you know, I, some people say that the temperance card is all to do with patience and waiting and waiting and waiting. Yeah, I agree with that aspect. There is an aspect to that. But there is the other side of it, which he's been pushed by that sun. And he does have those wings where he can literally... Uh, ascend and fly and go really really quickly so I think it's more personally I think it's more a card to do with timing and how you judge your timing and this is where the universe is trying to contribute to that new cycle that's coming through you in regards to relationships it's trying to create timing so it's easier for you to feel at ease with everybody that is around you and uh, yeah and living life how you want to live it let's just see how the guides are trying to influence this karmic message here they're playing off the universe here they're taking their um they're taking their orders in a way from the universe trying to create their coincidences for uh, activities sort of hobbies uh just opening you up to experience and then sharing uh you know sort of situations with other people you know around you in regards to your relationships this could be for your couple uh as much as it could be for your family and people like that but it's going to give you inspiration and that comes from that inner tuition within yourself and that timing. That's going to give you that victory. You're going to feel like you're really moving on. You're really connecting with people and you are. Uh, and this is the new you and I wouldn't go back to the old you by the looks of things. It's really beautifully. There's a lot of passion, a lot of want and need to get on and get involved. And let's just see how the guides are trying to influence the karmic, um, the conversation that is within you. Woohoo! Nothing to lose, nothing to lose. Let's just go and win. <laughs> That's what they just sort of. They're, it's almost as if like they, it's like your guys are kind of enjoying this, like uh, this slide, this this fun park slide that you're going on. This like a water slide, just really enjoying it. Um, or going on a roller coaster or something that's really invigorating and they're just enjoying the ride and they're encouraging you to enjoy the ride. Look at that, you've got two aces. This is definitely the start of something new. If you've just started a relationship, 
get into that relationship, start exploring all the different avenues within relationships in regards to sort of, um, you know, pastimes and hobbies and stuff like that, really connecting with the people or that person that is around you. It's most definitely, um, it's the inspirational fire that's, that's really flowing through you here. Uh, uh, and it's gonna, it's, it's after times of maybe restrictions that you'd put on yourself in regards to your relationships. And now is the time, it's all to do with that timing. Now is the time of release and do. Uh, let's just see what's going on on your financial sort of side. Now this is really building as well. This is really summer energy for you. Um, so they're almost showing me like a stamp as if to sort of saying done. And it's the time of getting projects done. So, you know, or aspects or um, working on things in your, in your job that's going to help you with promotion or uh, help you in your life to purchase something like a house or a car or something like that. You've got that cash flow going on. You know, things are really, yeah, there's a lot of offerings of now you've got that sorted. What do we do in a way? Um, it's getting that stamp, getting that stamp of approval and being a little bit obsessive about it as well. Getting the projects over the line. It's almost, yeah, you've got to be obsessive about it. Uh, really pushing to get things done. Uh, there's a lot of cards there. Mm, moving into a new cycle through understanding which is going to free you up from your old positions of what you are there will be decisions to be made in the future <laughs> but there's lots of offerings coming in your way let's just see what the universe how the universe is offering that sort of uh thing going on but the karmic message here is to be really focused on getting those results across the line because it's going to build give you a great foundation foundation to build on Let's just see how the universe is guiding this. It's <coughs> so if you if you imagine you've got an allotment, if you've ever done gardening, you've prepared the uh, you've prepared the vegetable patch, uh, the bed, and now you're sort of now you've got to plant the seeds and stuff like that. It's now moving on to the next stage. You've got that foundation, and the universe is saying to you, "What could you want to manifest?" What do you want to uh, achieve in the future? Uh, so getting these over the line will open lots of doors in the future. You need to get, um, this could be getting that job. Uh, this is a good week for doing that, pushing it, maybe having to send off a, a covering letter again to sort of say, I see you've got my, you've received my CV. Uh, there's a couple of things I didn't put in it. I'd just like to add these sort of things. Just showcasing yourself in a little bit if it's regards to a job but if it's regard to a business is getting those new clients on board getting things in in integrated into the business so you could really do a, a beautiful future let's just see how these guides are um influencing this karmic message they're really organizing they're helping you to get your ducks in the row. They're helping you to get those things across the line. They're almost as if it's like um, like a car park attendant sort of saying, okay, you park there, you park there. Getting things in order, basically. They're helping you out a lot, um, taking away a lot of the stress and the strain, which is freeing you up, making you feel a little bit, almost, yeah, they're giving you that healing factor of making you, you know, helping you so it seems to be going along smoothly. Trying to take the stress out of the situation. That's what they're doing at the moment. Um, let's just see how the guy's trying to influence the karmic, the um, conversation that is within you. As you concentrate on these goals and these getting these things in place and everything like that, yeah, you're going to notice sort of projects and stuff, uh, you know, possibilities or, you know, building upon those foundations as we were talking about earlier on. But I would keep them to yourself. Use your intuition here. It's going to make you, uh, it's going to put you in a position where, you, you know, you're going to be, uh, you know, adorned by other people around you kind of going, how does Aries do it? They just seem to be, they flow through, they don't seem to get stressed, they, 
They've got the, the solutions for tomorrow. Uh, you know, it's going to put you in a really beautiful position going forward. Yeah, I'd keep them to yourself. This is what I'm saying. I, you know, make sure, don't give all your cards away here, uh, Aries, as you're going forward. That's what that seven ones is all about. And I think this is, if you do have that conversation that's going through you, I would listen to it as you go forward. Let's just see what the overall outcome is for you. Choice and happiness of choice. Um, past things that are, that are put to bed so getting those things over the line as i'm saying uh, i think that's what's going to be important for you it's going to be opening up to those new relationships so then therefore you won't let the worries of the past of how you had relationships in the past come back and bite you in the backside so it ruins this relationships that you're getting into so it's it's there's a lot of there's a lot of gifts and there's a lot of possibilities. There's a real, yeah, call to action. I think if you can really settle this stuff down and get this over the line, that just seems to keep coming back and keep coming back. All of a sudden, it's going to provide a lot of inspiration going forward for that new call to action. So it's building upon that foundation as you go forward. And that's building also on the foundation of that new sort of way in which you engage in your relationships around you. What you've done here is some beautiful work, uh, and it's going to really pay off dividends. And if you're if you if you just started a couple, I would really get in uh, get into being within that couple of you know doing things, going places, uh, seeing things, that sort of thing. I think is going to be really good. It's it's a beautiful week for you. Um, lot on your plate, but you have got everything in order to deal with it. Seems to be fine. Okay, so there you go, Aries. Uh, thank you very much for being here. There's loads of links in the description below. Uh, and there's going to be loads of different readings coming out on this channel. This channel is going to evolve this Christmas. So keep an eye on this channel if I was you. In the meantime, uh, Aries, don't forget, life should be fun. So please do enjoy.